AC induction motors work. To begin, let's review a few basic motor formulas. The synchronous speed of an AC motor represents the speed, expressed in revolutions per minute, of the magnetic field in the stator. The synchronous RPM formula shows that the motor speed is directly proportional to the applied frequency and the number of poles in the motor. Therefore, a two-pole induction motor running at 60 Hz will run at 3600 RPM synchronous speed, less the slip required to produce the induction effect at full load. This now brings up the subject of slip. When a motor runs, the rotor always rotates slower than the rotation of the magnetic field. If it did not, no torque would be produced. This difference in speed is known as slip and is expressed as a percent of synchronous speed. Slip is variable depending on the motor design, but for standard NEMA Design B motors, it is 3 to 5% making the typical two-pole induction motor operating at 60 Hz run at 3500 RPM at full load. The slip is not affected by the design of the VSD. With this information, we can now determine the correct voltage to frequency ratio for a particular motor. The variable speed drive accepts a fixed voltage and frequency of 460 volts AC at 60 Hz and supplies a variable voltage and frequency to the motor. Most AC induction motors manufactured in the United States are designed to operate with a current that alternates in the direction of flow at 60 times per second, or 60 Hz. If the frequency of alternation is changed, the speed of the motor is changed. To achieve this, the proper voltage to frequency ratio must be supplied to the motor. For most three-phase industrial motors in the United States, this ratio is 460 volts AC to 60 Hz, or 7.6 to 1. As an example, to achieve 10% speed, a frequency of 6 Hz must be supplied. To properly apply electric power at 6 Hz, the output voltage must be 45.6 volts AC. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.